What is up YouTube? It is Matty and welcome to this war recap video. It is a huge war. Um, PwC versus Poetic Darkness. If you're not aware of who Poetic Darkness are, uh, they are an ex-modding clan. Um, Nightly Gaming aka Tigger. Um, you might know him as a YouTuber. He's got about 17,000 subscribers. He ran Crystal Warriors for a long time. Um, and yeah, but a lot of these guys here were, <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're newly fair play. So, obviously, the, the, the difficulty is they had a huge experience advantage on non-fair, on, well, people that have always been fair play. So, definite points worth noting before we get into the actual recap. Huge advantage to the PD side here. So, it's unbelievable we've took the win from this one. I was surprised, so many of the clan were surprised, but we had such a great performance, um, nothing, nothing shell breath, you know, nothing crazy, um, but I wanted to talk to you a bit about the, uh, the differences here, so, we had four Town Hall 11s, you've got Nico, Psycho, Knight, and Star Kitten, they had 10, okay, so all the way down to number 9, um, who he didn't have um, on this one an eagle artillery um and number 15 technically it is a, it is a an 11 um but it doesn't it has baby defense however obviously 29 and 28 on the heroes oh, but a level 13 warden so it they actually had 12 extra warden hits than us and four more eagle artilleries which makes a big difference um, so 10 Town 11s and 5 Town 10s for them to take a total of 15, um, anything above Town 9. And we had 4 Town 11s and 12 Town 10s to make a total of 16. Um, also worth noting that up until our base number 10, which is Confusion, um, that we didn't have any Max Infernos. So Optimus, yeah boy, Tim, Psycho, and Cheek, and Flawless... Um, I know Flawless and Cheek have got level 1 Infernos, Psycho's got level 1 and a level 2, Tim's got level, both level 2, etc, etc, moving all the way up to number 10, so, yeah, quite, there was, um, some pretty significant advantage there in the, on the upper end of the field, 12 more Warden hits is a ridiculous amount, I mean, we were expecting to get slammed, um, but anyway, so, got a good chunk of attacks I'm going to go through, I think it's about 8, and if we have a, take a look, number 15 was killed by Town Hall 9. It was a relatively weak base with some Town Hall 8 defences. So that's not going in this recap. This is the Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 action. One other thing I wanted to show you is, and it's always worth noting, um, we don't always, you know, some bases take a while to go down. So, for example, on the number 14, uh, which was their lowest Town Hall 10, um, that took three hits. Um, number 13 took 6 hits you can see there and it ended up being 3 star by Town Hall 11 um, Confusion got the uh, number 12 which was again 3 hits and then when it comes to the um, Psycho he got, a, he got a 6 pack but again 2nd um, hit and 3rd hit on the 1 um, you can see on the one that Coin Coin got as well again it was uh, 3 hits so yeah, um, Nico did absolutely wreck Tigger, so unlucky on that one. And then more at the top end of the field, there were some better hits there for the uh, 11s. What you'll also find is that quite a few um, 10s on 11s to get the 2 star. So you can see I took down number 2, um, Psycho took down number 1, star, um, who got number 4? I think I hit 4 initially, but then it was brought up for some extra percentage a bit later in the war. Um... You can see Flawless, which is Scott, taking down number 5. So again, we're just making our life easier, making those 11 dips. Because if you can... in the, the reason we won our war, the 9s basically took care of themselves. Um, we did have to do one dip. 10s basically scouted for each other. There wasn't much 9 on 10 action. Um, but it seems to be the 11s that were able to just wreck the bases. So um, a Warden does give a huge advantage, and it's much easier to 3-star Town or 10 if you've got a Warden on your side. Let's jump into the recap then. I know I've been harping on a little bit, and the first attack we're going to show is by Optimus Crime. Crime found a way to open up the base, and you'll see here, look, um, the route into both Inferno. So this raid wasn't as smooth as it could have been. What I do like... Um, is the use of freeze spell which you're going to see because he catches the golem and the inferno tower with it and I think maybe even one of the heroes um, 
what you'll see a lot of in these raids as well is minion funneling. Minions are great. If you can get the uh, the funneling at the start of the raid, just like this, um, creating a nice little pathway in for the heroes here. Now, watch what happens. Um, Valkyries all down and healers straight on the Valkyries. Um, some more Valkyries going in. King and Queen going in as well. Check this out. Rage spell down. Here it is. Um, the free spell has got the loon, the golem, and the... Um, unfortunately, they did get hit by the golem splash, but because the healers are on them, um, they've regained the health. There are second rage spells there. Watch the Valk um, pathing in action here. It's crazy. Going to that wizard tower. You'd think they'd then go next to the uh, um, inferno, but they don't. They go past it. Then they go back. So a little bit crazy. But because all the air defences have been taken down, loons with the perfect cleanup troop. I've recently... Um, I've uploaded a video about how loons can be so effective against how when taking down bases as some extra cleanup troops, particularly when you can get all the uh, air defences on the initial hit. So, yeah, great hit by Optimus. Nice use of back-end loons there to finish up the point defence. They were sort of Town Hall um, 9 level point defence for the most part, um, and it was a lower Town Hall 10. But great hit, great use of the um, the Valk rush, and the free spell was the the key part of that raid because it allowed those Valkyries to get that first Inferno tower down, deal with the Clan Castle troops, and then go into the next Inferno full health. So next one we show is by Knight, almost swags out a spell. So this is a pretty impressive hit as well. Um, obviously this is an 11 on 10 dip, and you can see again huge minion funnel to start the raid. Um, on a lot of 11s on 10s, you don't see as many Queen Walks because you've got the Warden. The Warden's ability is ridiculous because it obviously does that invulnerability. When, you, um, when you're when you coming up against the Golem in the Clan Castle, then um, you can use the, the ability at the right time and just make sure it gets gone. Here, there's not much chance of anything straying so far, getting those troops down, the Warden heading in. You want the Warden to get up nice and up front. Here go the Valkyries, look, creating that route inside the base. And here comes the Golem. Here we go. Ability used there, and already he's through the base without having to worry too much about the Valk's health. Um, raging through those Infernos. One's already down. The King's heading over towards the second one-ish. Um, but you have got a couple of Valks over there as well. And there goes the second Inferno. So already most of them down. Hog Rider's coming in to help out. We have got some Troll Teslas to deal with. Which is a little bit unfortunate. However, Hogs are doing well in taking down those extra defence. King, Queen and Warden all go, gone down the south east side of the base. And the Hogs all cleaning up the west side. So we're, we're now in a position where loads of Hog Riders left. Um, but they're looking pretty strong because they're in the Warden range as well. They get that extra HP bonus. And here you've got all those Hog Riders heading over to the, um, the Tesla. So he drops the heal spell there, which is pretty cool. And look at all those Hogs regaining health. And he's just going to have so many left for the end of the raid. Absolutely destroyed the base. Great route in, great timing on the ability. Um, nice use of the back end Hog Riders there to, uh, to finish at the base. And you typically find some form of back end Hogs or Loons to finish bases up um, when it's a three star attack. Next one I'm going to show is by Confusion. Some minion fellows at the start. Quite a lot of wall breakers. 11 doing a queen walk. And we can see here there are no hogs or loons in the camp. Maybe in the clan castle. Not 100% sure yet. Maybe it's going to be a full on Valkyrie hit. Um, we're going to find out soon. But for now the queen walk has started. He's already taken a few point defences down. <coughs> Breaking in. The break in was pretty uh, pretty smart cho choice. Because the air defence was too far away to get hit for the Queen to hit it. Um, and not far. And it was would have taken down a lot of those healers. So with the uh, the CC troops now heading towards the Queen. He's dropped the ability to... Sorry, the poison to slow down that loon. Deal with the Golem in a nice controlled way. Um, he's dropping an extra, some extra wall breakers here to break the Queen back out of that compartment. Because he doesn't want it to stick in there and to try and break into the core. Um, it's kind of pointless. The worry here is that those two cannons, because they're out of range of the he of the queen, um, they will. Whenever there's two point defense on the queen at any one time, she will start to lose health. So he's going to need to drop a rage spell. But he's got three point defenders, uh, three point defenses now on her. He's going to struggle, or she's going to struggle, should we say? But now the rage spell to help push through and go around the base. 
already a huge por portion of the raid is gone some basic valkyrie funnel there and here we go with the uh, the main attack wall breakers to break in king gonna head in now with the queen and because this the healers are sort of going to link up maybe we might get some switching target of the healers we're going to see valkyries rushing through now those um that cc i'm assuming it might be some hogs um we're gonna have to wait and see how how what it is and how it pans out gonna need the jump spell to get into that second inferno you can see the hog riders going in now once they're distracted is he going to be able to uh dodge the giant bombs he's already dodged one which is good it was a potential spot there um looking like there might be another spot soon but the queen's doing good she's taking down the expo the hogs are adding that little bit of dps uh, bonus and taking down some of those point defenses wizards there to help clean up um but the queen's on good health all she needs to do is be able to get through the rest of the base and if she can get towards that archer tower and wizard tower she will be laughing he has got the healer switched to the Valkyries, which is great. And the raid is basically done with the Queen on that much health or, and the ability. He's just going to smash these couple of defences now. There go, they go, and the raid is done. So good use of the Hogs, um, Hogs in the CC. Great walk, um, nice easy guidance in of the Valkyries there. And they were able to get to that second Inferno Tower, which was going to be the biggest challenge for the raid. So, moving up... We've got a couple of dips by Psycho now. So he's, um, again, no walk, um, as you can see. A couple of minions to funnel. And if you can keep, <laughs> if you can funnel the whole, the whole side of the base, again, it just makes that life so much easier. Two jump spells here. You can see one jump spell in the middle will basically open up the entire base. So it's not the best base design because of that. Um, all you need to be able to do is guide the Valks into that second inferno and there's the first heal and um, jump sorry straight in because you don't need to waste loads of uh, rages on queen walk and keeping them alive a couple of golems in creating that bit of the pathway inside don't want the valkyries to just um go away too much but also you want your warden to go inside the base so this is where it's all helping out massively getting the warden inside nice and deep in before those valkyries drop and soon i imagine he's going to be using the there it is the ability kept it alive during the when the uh, um sorry when the uh, golem was about to pop and now raging healing probably gonna through the base got some back end hogs and loons on this one he's clearly found a, a route to um to, to take down some exposed defenses at the back end of the raid and again here we go at the top side you've got the hog riders they're going to take down that cannon and then the wizard tower and a couple of loons on the bottom and at nine o'clock so good use of some cleanup troops always helps um <clears throat> especially when valk split off um, always good to bring a couple of troops like that just to help finish off any exposed defences right at the end of the raid and it's worked fine for him those hogs are going to clear the mortar and now it's just clean up so again great hit by Psycho relatively straightforward you've just got to get the funneling right for that warden get him in use his ability um, at a good time and then you're pretty much set next hit by Psycho let's see if we can uh, get more of the same double jump again um, because uh, I'm sort of repeating myself, but because there's no walk, spells are a little bit easier to go for. You can, um, yeah, it's it's not so much of a stress because you're not using a load of rages at the start or to keep the queen alive. So, breaking at the top there, um, with his double jump, he's going to have route to get through to both um, both Inferno Towers. So, with that break in initially, that's going to really help him out. Queen's going to go inside. He's just trying to create that funnel now. King and Warden going in. We need the poison to slow the uh, CC troops down. It's a minion heavy one. Look at that wave of Valkyries. He's got back end hog riders here as well. Let's see how those Valks get in there and get the job done. Rage by down. Ability there used. I don't know if you saw it. Um, and now they're raging and pushing through that base and getting into that second Inferno Tower. Jump spell to get them through. Inferno Tower gone already. Um, another giant bomb dropped there. And look at these hog riders coming in and the there is not many threats of giant bombs where they've gone in. So they're going to be able to get down quite a few defences quite quickly as well. Good use of hog riders there to finish up the bottom side of the base. A beautiful heal spell. Look at that. Keeping both sets of those hog riders alive. Through a giant bomb as well. And he's laughing again. Just if you can get it right. Um, in terms of the uh, the entry points, the guiding those Valkyries in, using that Warden ability can make a massive advantage, particularly a level 20 Warden, of course. 
coin coin here next which this is a um 10 on 11 which is uh, look at this raid i mean it's crazy okay minion funnels happening at the start he's actually going for like a um it's not a penta is it it's a quad laloon so there is no eagle artillery to worry about um however he will need to to get some troops in there to start taking down the he needs at least um one of those air defenses down and the queen down and preferably the cc if it's going to be a hound uh, sorry a golem loon in the cc that's an ineffective to air troops so he doesn't need to worry about that but let's see it is a golem loon as long as he can get the air defense and the queen down he's laughing um anything else now he gets from the queen is a bonus it looks like he might at least get one of those archer towers i would have thought um pops the ability there gets the arch tower and the um What's it called? And the Wizard Tower. Okay, two hounds in straight at the start onto that in first Inferno Tower. A lot of loons coming in now. Watch the rage spell. Push these guys through. Um, nice freeze there to just shut them up. <laughs> or stop the damage happening for a moment. An extra hound coming in. More loons coming through as well. Got one more freeze in rage. Early um, freeze, to be fair. There was not many troops in range there. So I think that freeze was pretty, pretty early. Rage pushing them through, though. Um, so yeah, maybe two or three seconds later on that free spell would have been a bit more ideal. But look at the pathing. Those loons are able to just push through that base. Um, so many loons has made it, made it just crazy. Um, I know I keep using the word crazy, but downward facing expos. Um, the base is just not set up really to defend against Laloon. And if you've got good deployment... Um, you got a, a a nice start, which you did. Um, able to get the air defence and the um, and the queen kill and the CC was irrelevant anyway. Um, it just all sort of made sense for this attack. So massive hit by Coin Coin. It's very very rare to see um, these sort of strategies. I think we're going to be seeing more Laloon post update, which is coming. Which, as you guys know, the uh, there are level seven loons and level four hounds, which should make a difference now. Tigger was three starred at basically the start. So as you can see, most of the Tunnel 10s, we've had a few Tunnel 10 and Tunnel 10 triples. We've had a, quite a few dips as well. Most of the Tunnel 10s have been two starred. Um, Tim, uh, so 10 on 11 there. We've got 11 on 11 there. 10 on 11 there. Uh, 11 on 11. 11 on 11. 10 on 11 and 10 on 11. So just a mixture there. Um, the final raid we're going to show with a three star is on uh, is Nico. I think this raid was done right at the start of war before anything. Um, and I'll show you the time it was done as well because I think I saw um, he, he he put a base he, he put a video up about the attack. Um, but again, follows most of the same procedures. Golems to funnel. Um, makes it nice and easy. Um, in, in vulnerability, going to be used to pop the goat to, to stop the golem ability from uh, destroying it. There goes the invulnerability, just as the uh, they're dealing with the golem, and that's now dealt with. So didn't have to worry about the huge health drop he would get there. And he's the queen's actually walked around the outside, but the rages and the uh, the pushing the way through the core of that base is beautiful. Back end loons, because most of those air defenses were going to be taken down in the process. Back end loons are going to work great here, if as long as he can get the drops off. Looking pretty strong. Valkyrie's going everywhere. That queen actually walking around the outside has done him a favour, because he's going to get more point defence. And that wizard tower as well. Unfortunately, everything started to fizzle out quite quickly. So now, he needs to rely on the, uh, the, the, the king, the Valkyries, and the queen to sort of come back together at the end of this base. And try and take down as many point defences as he or as many of those defences as he can. Queen ability is not yet used, and that is going to be what saves this raid, I think. That combined with the warden and um, just still Valkyries there, so it's going to all come together with a beautiful three star. So here comes the queen, pops the ability soon, I'd imagine. There we go, and now we've just got that one defence to go, the air defence, and but it can't do anything against a queen. So done, three star. Let's have a look at what time in the war that was, actually, because I know it was very early on. Let's have a look. Um, wow. Dun, dun, dun. Nico, check him out with four minutes into... Is that is it four minutes into war? Uh, 23.56 minutes left. 
I don't know. Anyway, right at the start though, taking him down. Anyway, moving through to the final raid from this video, which I'm going to show Psycho is a Tunnel 10 on a Tunnel 11 hit, hitting the top Tunnel 11, max base. And this is the sort of thing that frees up the Tunnel 11s to, uh, to do their thing and to dip down and make the three stars that much easier. That's what it's all about. Um, that's what our wars are like, and that's how we're able to um, wreck most of the time. We've got some very, very strong Town Hall 11s, and that makes a massive difference. If you can consistently dip um, like this, it, uh, not not this particular raid, but if you can consistently dip, um, you're gonna you're gonna be laughing. So anyway, here we go. Queen on uh, Queen going in. Probably going to need a rage spell pretty soon. She's going to be destroying. Her health is going down really, really quick here. Now, pops the ability as well. Panics a little bit. Not going to be able to reach that eagle artillery, which is the biggest th worry here. But he does wall break it in, which means actually he is going to be able to. Probably going to use another rage spell in a minute, I would have thought. Um, using the poison to slow everything down. Uh, unfortunately, he's not able to get the... Oh, had a panic moment there when the loon dropped. Unfortunately, oh, he did get the expo down. I was thinking, did he, did, did he didn't he? That's going to help him out. But he wants to get that inferno down, trust me. Using a good, smart choice to drop the uh, giant golem there. Will get the um, eagle artillery done. And then maybe that expo as well. And if he does, that's going to help. But the queen's now losing health. So will she survive? Will she die? We're going to see soon. Golem in. Valkyrie's in. Great wall breaker used to break him so far through the base. The queen is dead. The jump spell's in place. Heal, nice heal spell placement here. Um, looking good. Lots of Valkyries going to head in towards the um, town hall, which they already have. And he's already got access to quite a lot quite a lot more of the base, actually, with minions creating funnels everywhere. Because the, the Eagle Artillery's not there, they're going to be able to stay there till the end of the raid and just gain all that, that those buildings. Um, the king's doing pretty good, actually. King is being very useful until this moment when instead of going into a, a, a jumped compartment, he decides to slap a wall. Will that bring him out and, get him <clears throat> and allow him to get some extra percentage? We're going to find out soon. Um, here we go, look. And yeah, this this is the sort of thing. Because this is done by Eternal 10, we haven't had to waste any Warden on, on this base. It means that um, it frees up Nico. Um, if you want to take it like for like to, to drop down and get some serious three stars or to two star the harder town hall 11s which in the end I think uh, Nico ended up taking down number six you can see so yeah poetic darkness unfortunately they, they it didn't it wasn't as um, everyone was expecting that we were going to get slammed massive advantage to them um, which Again, a great hurdle to be able to get along. There wasn't a host of 11 on 11 triples. It wasn't like that at all. We were just able to take down the 10s quite efficiently with a good mixture of Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 11 hits. Um, so, yeah, really happy with this war. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And, of course, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.